Okay, so I'm just going to do a whistle stop tour of what you're looking at, so it's not a mystery. We've got a light switch on the left, tension dial, uh, decorative stitches, a lever to choose between straight and zigzag and decorative stitches. We've got a hand wheel to move the needle up and down manually. We've got a um, width selector, so for a zigzag stitch, zero is straight stitch, four is the widest zigzag I can do and a needle position selector. So watch the needle. I can move that around as well. Uh, when you're using these, make sure your needle is out of the fabric because if you drag it around, you might break your needle. Uh, buttonhole, um, and this is my stitch length. So if I'm doing something I know I'm going to take apart, I'll use a long stitch length because it's easier to take long stitches out. Um, and then this is for my feed dogs. So if I to show you as I turn the hand wheel, you can see little teeth moving up and back. These are the feed dogs and they move your fabric through the machine. And if I want to do something that doesn't just automatically take my fabric through the machine like that and I want to do something a bit more random like free motion embroidery or I want to put an embroidery hoop in there and make a butterfly shape or something, I can just drop the feed dogs, they'll stay out of the way and then my movement takes the fabric through the machine in whatever direction I choose. So um, you'll need to change the needle at some point and you do that just by holding the needle, unscrewing this clamp, taking it out, take the new needle, insert it so that it's as far up as it will go and straight with the flat part facing away from you. Do up your little clamp screw again and then you're ready to go. So to do some stitching I'm going to lower the foot using the lever at the back. I'm going to hold on to my threads so that the top thread doesn't undo itself and I have to re-thread it. I'm going to use the hand wheel just to sink my needle to make that first stitch and then I use my pedal to, to sew. And you can see if I let go the machine is taking the fabric for me. So I don't have to do anything. I think that's one of the things I see a lot in beginners. They try and over control the fabric and you don't really need to. You just need to guide it and keep it flat. And if I want to do a seam and I don't want it to come undone, I use my reverse stitch. Do a couple of stitches and that won't come undone now. So now with my needle out, lift the foot. I can take my work out. And you can use scissors or this has got a little blade on the back to cut my threads. And there we go, we've sewed something. Um, have a play, read your manual, that's a great tip. Um, kids love sewing, obviously supervise them. These are electrical items, they're heavy and they have sharp bits. So, um, you know, follow the health and safety advice. And just have fun, have a go at making something, have a go at mending something, um, maybe find some things that don't fit anymore and cut them up into make them into something new. Uh, why not? We've got the time. So have some fun. Let me know what you're up to and I hope that was helpful.